Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Schule. Penacool.com is a major educational stakeholder in Trinidad and Tobago. The SCA revision website has been used with great success throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Today, we are going to demonstrate its effectiveness in our classroom. Now, I'm going to break you all up into three groups. Each group is going to, be, is going to have one leader. Are you all ready? Yes. All right, great. So now we're going to actually go to the website. I have in front of me my laptop. You just click on enter. I'm going to log in. To log in, I have to enter the username. Right. Very simple. Then you sign in. All right. Now, what we're going to do, since we're using one computer, I'm going to go to play projector game. So I'm going to click on that. Right. Now you're going to have a choice of subjects. We're going to stick with mathematics. So I'm going to leave that alone. But we're going to be changing from angles. We're not going to be revising angles today. So I'm going to click on this arrow and we're going to scroll all the way down to what? Whole numbers. Great. So we're going to click on whole numbers. And since I know you all have been through this course, we're going to go straight to revision exercise number one. Ah, great. I'm going to click on that. Now, how many teams do we have? Three. Three. So I need to change this here to three. And we're going to keep it at five questions per game. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. We're going to start playing now. Let's look at number three. Uh, let me read. The value of the digit 2 in the number 529845 is. Just write on that value for me, please. The value of the digit 2 in that number. Remember when you're finished, you get together and you group leader, you decide what answer is going to represent your group. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you all ready? Yes, sir. All right, so, group leaders, are you ready? Yes. All right. So, stand and let me get your answer. You're saying 20,000. Let's enter that. Call the digits to me there. Two, zero, 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 zero. Right. And we're going to check it to see if we're correct. Yes. Bravo. Yes. You got it correct. All right. So, Team A, you got the first question. Yes. Correct. Ah, yeah, great, great. So, we're going to get one that tests your knowledge of expanded notation so you have your number here seven three five four one eight and it's equal to all that follows seven by plus n plus what follows so look at it carefully now what does the n represent five four Three, two, one. Are you all ready? Yes. Sir. Okay, team A. The N represents three by ten thousand. Three. So, 10, three by ten thousand. Which of these did you have? Did you have the first one? I'm putting up the possible answers on the board, on the screen, and you're gonna tell me where to stop. So, should I stop here? Is this your choice? No. No. Is it the second one? No. The third one? No. No, the group leader. Or is it this one? Yes, sir. The last one? Yes. Sure. Yes, Alright, so we're gonna select that and we're gonna check it. Great. Ah, correct. So the answer is three by ten thousand. Alright? So again. How many of you would like to review some English grammar now? Great. Now we're going to look at a question that tests your knowledge of singular and plural form of nouns and gender. Give the plural form and determine the gender of the underlying noun. 
The question is, the shepherd tends to, to the sheep every hour. Okay, group who was it? Group so A, group so A got it first. Group A, shepherd. Shepherds. Plural of shepherd is? Um, shepherds. shepherds. Can you spell shepherds? S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D-S. All right. And what gender do you think is shepherds? Neuter? 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Think it's neuter? All right, let's put in neuter. Let's Wrong. check that. Wrong. I see that there's some disagreement Wrong. there. Wrong. Let's Wrong. check. Group leader said. Now, if we get a yellow arrow, it means that one out of the two questions were wrong. And I believe it was the gender. So we, let's, let's do a tutorial. All right. Now, since the first tutorial deals with single and plural, you all got that part right. So we're going to look at the gender tutorial. Let's all read class on the gender. There are there are, there are four genders. Masculine denotes male creatures. Example, man, nephew. Good. Number two. Feminine denotes female creatures. Example. All right. So we got masculine and feminine. What about common? Read common for me. Male or female, example, child or student. Okay, so you looked at masculine, feminine, and common gender. What's the last one? Neuter. neuter. Tell me about neuter. neuter that are neither gender, inanimate. For example, right now, inanimate means you can tell me what inanimate means. Well, it it's not alive, yes. It doesn't live, it's not alive.